Okay, this video is how to do Rumble Studio. Rumble Studio is a new web-based application that allows you to stream to multiple platforms at one time, put out by Rumble, obviously. It's a WebRTC-based uh, situation. If you're not yet a functional member of the beta program, you can go to studio.rumble.com, click on here, put in your email address and click join waitlist. Anyway, I'm already in there. So I'm going to studio home. I already have this situation uh, begun. It's a stream that I'm going to do. So I'm going to hit enter here. And then what I need to do, uh, and if we, if we come to, let's see here, I believe this right here, this is what you would normally see coming into this it would say start a new stream and you click on that and you would then um, say put a, th a thumbnail in here and then you can uh, make a title for your stream then you choose which services it's going to be sent to live and then you just say save and then it comes to here and then you load up your camera i'm using OBS virtual camera at this time. And then you have to click out here in the field and then come back and take the X off of that. There, there's my camera. Okay. And uh, then I've got to load my mic up here. My mix cast four and take the X off of that. Okay. So now you can tell that your camera is coming in because first of all, it's showing up here, but it would be down here as a participant. And then every time you speak, you can see that the green ring there comes around the video. It basically tells you that your microphone is, is getting in. There are things that you can do, add to your, your, uh, your theme here. Let's say you want to add some text. Uh, and in this case, you can click on add new text. Uh, I already have done this. So I'll just jump into the edit here and I um, put how to rumble studio and then uh, you just choose where it's going to run top bottom or uh, center um, you uh, can change the background color of to the t you can add a background color to the text um, uh, whether it's going to be like a ticker uh, disappearing after a certain period of time anyway uh, click on save and then to activate that you would just click on that right there and you see we have a ticker down here on the bottom of the screen. That's handy. Add new media. You can put videos, um, uh, images, or sound in there. And uh, I have a friend who has it set up. He has a Be Right Back video. You know, he just fires that off if he has to leave somehow in the middle of the stream and he's going to come back. He puts that in there for, for a couple of minutes. Okay, so we can click on this and edit. And uh, you choose right here, you choose the background for your text so that it shows up better in the background. Uh, and the font that you want to use, there's a limited amount of fonts. There may be an ability to import fonts in the future, I'm not sure. And then you can turn live chat on and off. So if you want to display live chat while you are streaming, it may be hard to demonstrate that at this point because I don't, um, you know, if I fire off a live stream, it's not like I'm popular enough to garner uh, thousands of uh, um, viewers all at one time uh, to do. I, I guess I could bring up the stream and uh, type into the chat to demonstrate that. There are several things that, let's say, for instance, you want to um, share. Uh, a YouTube video with people or you want to make one of those uh, very popular now to make um, uh, reaction videos. You could share news site, news article sites, um, things of that nature. Anyway, let me just demonstrate that for you. You come down here to start screen share, fire that up. Now, you can choose from items that are already on the browser that you are using. I don't recommend that. Now, if you only have one video or one web page that you want to share with people, it's fine to do it this way. But you can only really do one at a time. 
and uh, you want to be able to share audio from the tabs that you're hitting. I find it much better to come over here to entire screen. And then that gives you uh, choices of everything that's open, even on different monitors on, on your computer. So I'm going to click on uh, this entire screen and I'm going to click also share system audio. And that's going to uh, make sure that when I fire off a video, um, that you're going to be able to hear it. So now above the screen, you'll see that we have, uh, here's auto. And you notice when I clicked on auto, nothing happened. That's because I don't have any other participants in here with me. Uh, if there were two, um, going to auto would automatically split the screen and there'd be one of us on either side. Uh, when you go solo, uh, even if there are other people in the room, it takes you to just you on the screen. Uh, and here's duo for, you know, if you're in there with, with, uh, you know, if you're have been solo and then you have a guest, you, you go to duo and it splits the screen. Uh, anyway, to show a web page, uh, or to show anything to share a, a screen, you click on presentation and, uh, I love this guy's videos. This is uh, Steve Inman on X there. And um, so we're going to play this video and uh, you should be able to hear the sound. And you notice that my preview is down the lower left-hand corner. Let me get rid of the text there, the scrolling text. I'm going to take that out of there. Okay, so you see the whole, the whole video. Okay, so now here is... Um, Here's the here's the screen. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and make this full screen. And oh, buddy. Yeah. Great job, Carl. Seems to be another case of Carl mixing his liquor, obviously mixing that white claw yeah. with the Colt 45, and this is the end result. Headbutt to the window, to the wall, straight to the concrete, and now Carl is momentarily dancing with stars. <laughs> oh, yeah, too bad for you, buddy. So anyway, um... I found that, uh, if you, if you go full screen on this and you, and by the way, when you're, when you have the video on the screen here, you're controlling it from that other web page, So that has to be visible and, uh, and people can get confused and think, well, it's the, the one on, on your screen here. No, this just shows what's being captured. If you have it on, on, uh, as, as we said before, uh, capturing entire screen, then that allows you to just have a stack of tabs here and you can scroll through them. And as long as you, uh, remembered to select the, um, audio tab or the little audio checkbox, uh, when you were hitting share screen, let's go back to share screen. So you guys can see that. Okay. So that eliminated that sharing of the screen. So now I'm going to reestablish it here. Now you can choose one, one of these screens also share tab audio and that's fine, but that's only one. And you noticed that the margin is now gone in the, in the preview here. You don't see the address bar up there or any of the tabs or anything like that, because this is the only thing that you can share. Okay, so I'm going to go back to stop screen share, and then I'm going to hit screen share again. Uh, now, window, the problem with window is to share audio, share tab or screen instead. This, you can, if you share window, it would allow you to share any application, um, but you would not be able to hear the audio from it. And uh, which is, a, you know, it's fine if you're just showing a web page. It's far better, uh, in my estimation, to show the entire screen and then you can have, and then check this. Always make sure you do that. And then hit share. And then, uh, by the way, uh, you can have this sitting down there in reserve. You can go over here and just go back to solo. 
and that's just you or duo or auto, depending on if you have other guests. Uh, and then when you go to presentation, that uh, um, shows whatever you have down here. You know, see that? Now you can have um, other screens, like you can have screens that are shared by guests. And I'm not really uh, sure how well that works, whether you can share um, shared screens with audio and stuff from them. I, I, I really don't know that yet. Um, we did some testing on that earlier today, but don't really know. So anyway, that's pretty much the function of this thing. Seems to work pretty well. Now, a couple of things that I don't know about, which are, are going to make a big difference. Number one, this is a beta uh, program. So I don't know whether they are going to start charging for this and uh, what it's going to cost because their competitors in this realm are um, StreamYard and Restream. Uh, that restream to multiple platforms at one time. The other thing that we don't know is we don't know if you're sending an individual stream out to each of these platforms. Uh, that can be very processor intensive on your computer and, and as well as bandwidth. So I don't know if it sends a stream to Rumble and then they proliferate it to these other platforms. I don't know. Um, and, and perhaps they'll answer those questions at some point in the near future. So, but other than that, this thing works pretty well. I don't think there's any really any need for me to go live because it functions exactly the same before you go live as when you do go live. Uh, I'll go live just so you can see what happens. I'm going to fire that off and then you verify again which ones you're going live to. I'll go live to X too, just for the heck of it. And then I'll hit go live. It says, boom, they're all ready. Then it does a countdown. And here we go. We are live on several platforms here. I'm doing a demonstration video on how to do Rumble Studio. This gives you the rudimentary basics. It's not a replacement for OBS or um, uh, vMix or some other video production software. It's not a replacement for that, certainly. It's not as versatile as that. However, if you just want to do a live stream with a few friends, talk about some news, it, uh, it's great. It really is great. Okay, one other thing that I... Uh, really want to show you here. I've already gone live and then came off, but I didn't um, show how you add in um, guests on the show. And that's pretty easy. It's uh, manage participants. I'll stop the screen share. Manage participants. And then basically what you do is, is you can require approval, which I'm assuming um, uh, when they, when they execute this link and connect to you, uh, th there would be a notice that pops up that you would have to then approve for them to connect. But anyway, copy uh, a link invite and you send this link out to whoever you want to connect up and they basically click on the link and it loads up this, it loads up the web page. They load their camera and their microphone, and then they just connect to you and they're automatically on screen with you 50, 50. So I hope that helps you out. All right, guys. See you next time.